Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Gemini for love and relationship for the month of October 2024. Gemini, you are very funny. See? What's following this? A relationship. So it sounds to be like, you know, some of you are settled in a relationship, but your eye somewhere else. You are protective of your relationship. In the same time, your eye is somewhere else. That means that there is someone else that you think about all the time, or you are waiting at least for a person to come toward you. See, I want to prove to you that what I'm saying is right. Waiting for someone to come back to you or to show up or to say something. You want to have your freedom mostly. You want to go out. You want to have fun. You want to go on vac vacation. Most of you, like you are waiting for financial uh, money situation to be really getting better in your life. And you want really like, you know, just maybe pay your bills, debts, whatever it is. And you want really some money to go out. And you are trying to push it. And it feels here like, you know, that your maybe business is slow. If you have a business or work like, you know, hasn't been really like, you know, progressing very much. There is money and the money is good. And you are very talented about what you do. So don't really doubt yourself or your luck. It shows me here that you want to be more being understood for the way you feel like you, know, you want someone there is someone for you it sounds like you know that if you are married or you are in a relationship that person like you know that have been really there for you but most of the time they ignore exactly how you feel or what you need like what it suits them or what they want exactly from you they do right but in the same time when it comes to you, of your need, like you worked really very high, hard the whole year and you want to take a vacation, um, you cannot function anymore. Like your brains like, you know, get, cannot really function, concentrate. Like they say, like you know, your brains fried, you know, in a way that you need some relaxation, you need some money on the side. That person understand that you want to go, but in the same time they ignore that specific thing that you want to do exactly. Whatever you say here, you say, yeah, I understand, yeah, I really agree with you. But they walk away, they push their thought away. It's like they don't care. They care of what they need exactly. Like, if you want to go somewhere, they want to go with you. But in the same time, like, you know, oh, it's too long, it's far away. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm tired. Maybe let's really like, you know, just cut errands here and there, like, you know, or the road or in a way that let's make it simple and go next door, maybe two streets away or kind of like 20 minutes away or half an hour, but not really to go all of that distance. Your person is really like, you know, seeking really more of uh, their work to be really busy, to make the living. It has been slow for them too. And I get here that the energies between you two is really very good. The energy is good. You are, but they feel that some, lately you have been really ignoring him or her. And you are trying to get along with other people, talk to other people. Maybe it could be neighbors, it could be friends, it could be somebody. But they feel like, you know, that he, he or she like, you know, being ignored. Um... Hmm. If you have left someone or isolate someone, that's really something different. I get here your person like you're dealing with someone else. Because I get here they approach someone else or it could be approach a girlfriend, a boyfriend, and they are getting along with them more. Be careful. 
and don't freak out like you know it could be like you know not really every single person of you and i get here if you left also it seems to be that really something new for you or a new relationship also because i get here you are talking to others some of you are talking to maybe a person two three two three persons you want really to go with the flow because you want to heal from a bad situation ah uh, there is a lot in this reading like you know um it doesn't mean that you don't really love your spouse or the, your partner, but you feel like you know, that there is a lot of setbacks between you two and make you really angry. Like you talk to your person and they, they are it's like they don't they are listening, but they are not really listening. They pay attention to something else. And you feel like you know, that you are being not being understood by your person and you get really angry upset and you want a really like you know meaningful relationship something exciting what you are looking for dear gemini something really very exciting something different totally different because you go like you know with the same routine over and over and over a lot of you left their relationships already okay left that marriage if you are in marriage or a committed relationship with someone and you are not really maybe divorced yet you get to know another person and another person like you know have some problems um or emotional baggage from someone else or all of us like you know have that you know and the, you are not really being there you want to heal you want to feel happy you want the excitement now suddenly you want a commitment from that person before you wanted to have fun you need the time to heal. So don't rush into relationships. You know, this is really telling you that you need the time to heal. Don't really jump immediately into a commitment. But you feel like, you know, oh, you know, I really want to get married now. I want to cut it in half. Um, be careful about that. Some of you are not even divorced yet. And you are dealing with someone else. And you want that commitment with this relationship. That person also left. Not the person you left the person that you are with just left another relationship also and they are not really ready 100 percent to be there with you because there is a lot of worry on that person maybe anxiety uh, it seems like you know, there is so much really going on okay there is another person want your spells that you left mm. I'm talking about people who are separated, not currently in the marriage and the, that marriage is really working or anything, okay? Another person want your spouse. They want to be with them. They want to marry them. And they are waiting on you to divorce. Your spouse, it seems to be that he or she could be entertaining other people, which is you are separated from the living already together and you are not talking. But deep inside them, your person or spouse still love you and wants you to return and come back. See, you are protective over your spouse also, even that you don't like what they did to you. But yet you did not let go that person. You might need them. You still like you don't want them to be with other people. You are slowing like you down like the things for that person because you don't want them to be with other people. You could be also like you know that you left a relationship in the past long time ago with someone that you don't want, and you are really pushing that person away from you. But you're still protective over that person. Are they with someone else? Are they going to be uh, because there is uh, another person from your past wants to come back that you left already a long time ago, years ago. And you are worried about taking that person because you are, you are afraid that this person is going to hurt you again and deal with other people behind your back because previously they already cheated on you. Um, it's like you want to progress with something, something for you, for yourself, but you feel like you know, the progress is really slow. It's not the right timing. That's all. Don't push something to happen right now. If you have someone you want to go dating with other people, this is according to the people who left their relationship. I'm not really saying that, you know, 
leave your spouse even if he or she is good to you right now and go really on a shopping spree like you know with other people no what i'm saying here people who left their spouses not divorced yet and you want really to go out with some other people yeah expand your horizon don't get stuck on one person that immediately i found someone to talk to and he or she can be the one um what if they are not just you need to get to, to know other people if you want to go out on vacations or trips do so because it sounds like you know, that you are there is so much and there is that voice inner voice deep inside you screaming out loud you want to do something you think about too many things like you, know, you are so scattered like you know everywhere like you know i want to do a project i want to fix my home I want to go on a trip. I want to work. I want to bring business. I want a lover. I want really a partner. I want calm down and relax. Take it a step on a time at a time, like you know, because it's not really gonna work for you that way. Um, it's like you don't know what you want. You are really overwhelmed and stressed out. You find yourself you really worked very very hard. Nobody have been really there for you. You want a vacation of a lifetime. You want really like to take on a year even without working. Your spouse or your person feel like, you know, or see really the change in you. Even if you are in the relationship already that you did not leave, this person is really spying on you to see like, you know, there is a change in you. What are you doing? Even if you are separated from that, your spouse already they are still like the curious want to find out like you know what's going on with you you are so much stressed out and overwhelmed and you want to do things but you are kind of like not coming out of your way to do exactly what you want you are not really finding that kind of freedom to do everything you are being either judged or have an eye from other people on you you don't want people to speak about you bad you could be really hiding um a new relationship like you know that is really there you don't want to be revealing yourself to everybody yet you feel that you know that you are stuck with something controlled like you know not everything exactly happening or coming to you okay it's draining your energy to be secretive and not talking and not expressing your feeling and say you know what step away from me I need to go out or you won't really like to express your feelings or you want to tell the person that you are around at least like you know that I don't like your attitude or the way you are or the way you need to speak up keeping it deep inside you and not really speaking is making you devastated and drained and that's not really good for your money it's not good sometimes you want to quit your job you don't want to work because you feel like you, know, you are being also used from the person that you are with or around. You like to gamble. And it says here, you go and gamble. Oh, there isn't much money. And it sounds like, you know, some, some of you have been losing also. It's not the right timing. You lose, you win. You know, it's just like, you know, not really working very well. You are embarrassed about even like, you know, really gambling because you have really necessity or necessary stuff that you need to pay for. And the money hasn't been really coming. Forget about gambling for this while uh, time. Um, a lot of people said, but I don't know that you know in winter time, like you know these uh, maybe casinos or something being not giving. I don't know if it's a fact. So, so I don't work in the casino, so I don't know. Okay. Your person, if you are in a committed relationship, they have been really relying on you financially. You have been really doing it. You're still doing it. Your money is going to be good because they say here, no matter what, even you spend the last penny that you have, you're still going to get the money. This is really something good about Gemini. And I get here, your person is confiding in you to find or you always like, you know, to pay for items, to pay debts bills mortgages rent doesn't matter um they feel or they find like you know that you can really get rid of the husband or the spouse at this current time and they don't want to leave you so um 
they are trying to do good towards you so they won't lose you. Your person love you. They care for you, but in their own way, and that you don't really see it the way they are acting. You look always like you know, fascinating and beautiful and sexy, and your person like you know, feel like you know, that they are being declined. They feel like you know that any minute, any time you're gonna decline them. Um, I know that some of you say, "Okay, let me understand." So, my husband or my wife that I live with right now are cheating on me. No. I am talking about you left your spouse or your partner and you are not with them. And there is kind of like this is taking me in a storm in a way that if you are in a relationship with someone, they have been really trying to find out if you are dealing with someone else. They might be really spying on you behind the scene to see like you know, what's going on. There is a change in you and they want really to find out what you are doing. So they might be recording you, they might be really like, you know, putting like, you know, really some uh, say GPS, anything. You are doing the same thing. Not all of you, but it's really happening no matter what. This person is fully committed to you, the one you live with. They don't want you to leave, but if you left already, they want you to come back. They want you to be there because... You are really a lot for them, like, you know, according like, you know, to caring, a good heart, really, like, you know, understanding, um, um, supporting in many ways. And yes, they know that they did wrong and they want really to fix their situation. But no matter where I turn around in this reading, I tell you honestly, you know, I'm a very honest person and I don't want to lie to anybody. I feel like you know, that your person likes someone else. It shows you something and it shows you something. And yet, they don't, when they start to see the change on you that you don't care, they start to pay attention to you more and spy on you. It depends on the person. If you have a private reading with me, I will tell you exactly because every person is different. If it doesn't resonate with you, leave it alone. Like, you don't say, oh, I don't have somebody. Oh, there is someone she keeps telling me I don't have somebody okay you don't have to tell me for the past two years you don't have somebody um, if somebody doesn't have somebody maybe they don't they need to let go their expectations or their a anger in past relationship and uh, be happy within themselves they'll find love okay there's someone from a Sagittarius sign told me that actually let go your anger. Open, open your heart for a new love. You don't have to be limited like, you know, I need this person to be really like, you know, working in that field or uh, tall, uh, short, uh, whatever. Don't specify. Just ask the universe to bring you someone that who's committed, good for you. And you will be good to them and love you the way you are. That's the best like, you know, affirmation if you want to do something like that. You need to be open and receptive to it. Okay, it says here that, you know, your person have been really flirting online and playing games with other people. What the hell is going on here? Hmm, excuse my language. Your person is trying to make you really very happy also because they learned some lessons from the past and they don't want to bring themselves like in a bad luck. Even though that they know that they messed up with you a lot. This is if you are living with your person. And even if you left a relationship too, like they know they messed up with you. They want you to give it another chance. You are really forgiving. You are a very loving person. Some of you let go. Some of you walking away, some, some of you wants to walk away from that relationship because you feel you are fooling yourself. You cannot be there for this person 
to fix their mentality, their life, money situation, do everything by yourself, and they are not really doing anything about it. When it comes to you, you're sick, you're ill, you need to attend work, take like maybe some um, peer relief and, uh, and work and do everything, and that person done nothing all of these years. It's like what it feels to you is so overwhelming. Some of you are in denial. You don't want to be really leaving. And you say, it suits me as it is. And you try to forgive and let go. It's like you don't see it because you know what to expect from your person. So you accept it the way it is. That's love too. But to be really like you're sacrificing for everything for that person and they do not understand you, you cannot do that. You are about to scream out loud and say, this is enough. Your person thinks that, you know, your their marriage is over. A lot of marriages are going to end. And new beginnings and new loves, I see loves everywhere for you. You are not going to have a problem with that. A lot of you like, you know, that you feel like you know, that maybe you want to give another chance for your person and stay in it and see like, you know, what's going to happen too. I, I, I'm sorry, this reading like, you know, it's just, it's all over the place, you know. A lot of you are happy that way to be free. You don't want even like to commit yourself. A lot of you found already a person that, you know, they sued them, but the other person is not really like already 100% to be with no problems because they have an issue of a different relationship. So this timing is really very limited. In the next year, you're going to have all that fortunate in love. Springtime, summertime, it's beautiful for you. Misunderstandings I get here can be really like you know, worked on between you and another person also, and you can be really much happier. But at the end, no matter what you do, you fall on your feet. You are not going to lose, and you are always confident. Best of luck for you, dear Gemini. I hope you enjoy the reading, and if you need a private reading, please contact me. The link for my website is below this video, mysticalaziza.com. After you click on reading prices, please purchase your reading, then give me a call and my phone number is listed on my website. And I'm also on TikTok, but you know, I just really put the same video. So on TikTok and their mystical Aziza, one word. Um, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.